What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Deadpool is directed by an overpaid tool, Tim Miller, and stars God's perfect creature, Ryan Reynolds. It's all about Wade Wilson, an ex-Special Forces operative turned mercenary who gets diagnosed with cancer. He is then subjected to a rogue experiment that leaves him with accelerated healing and powers, a horrible disfigurement, and a quest for revenge. This movie is everything that a comic book movie should be. He is a, an anti-hero, yes. He actually doesn't refer to him as a hero. He actually says in the movie a couple times that he's no hero. But that kind of does change later of the film. Rhett Reese and Paul Warnick's story was just amazing. I felt that this, this story was perfect. It was a perfect adaption of what Deadpool should have been to start with. It was straight to the point. It was simple. He was just this guy who got put in this bad situation. It, it's just something that was out of his control. It was awesome. The pacing did not disappoint. There wasn't a moment in this movie where I felt like my eyes wanted to shift. It, it was really awesome. It was really great. I felt hooked the whole time. This film was the first R-rated movie to have a three-day opening of over $100 million. This film was made for about $58 to $60 million. It made around $783.1 million. Yeah, that's a lot of payload, and I'm pretty sure 20th Century Fox celebrated with a lot of wine after that. All right, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool, which is played by Reynolds, of course, is this fast-talking, with a morbid sense of humor kind of guy. Like I said before, he's everything that the Deadpool character should have been. It, this is a much better interpretation of the character than what was shown in X-Men Origins Wolverine. That film was just an all-around mess. And the way they treated that character in that one, it wasn't even Deadpool. What the hell were they thinking in that? But luckily, this film erased all of that and it got back to what it was supposed to be. A merc with a mouth. He didn't even have a mouth at X-Men Origins Wolverine. He didn't even talk at all. He was like this supernatural creature that just looked at you. But luckily, this film, Deadpool, is actually done correctly. He creates this sense of humor about him that's really witty and that's really smart. It's just fantastic. I, I love the way they, they did this character. Ryan Reynolds gave it his all, that's for sure. And you can tell that he was a definite fan of this character because he was perfect for it. And he he just did this character justice. That's all I'm going to say. Marina Bakarin, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. She played Vanessa, the love interest. I think that she kind of gave Deadpool a heroic side to him. In the first act, he admits twice that he's no hero. But I think she kind of changed that as the movie progresses, especially after what happened to her without giving anything away. He actually does act like a hero in this, even though he's one to never admit it. And you have Colossus, who is an X-Men member who's made out, made out of steel, and he's like really strong. He's like the Hulk of this universe. He never changes. Like In the X-Men movies, he, he had the ability to change back in the human size. But in this, he stays metal. Which I, I thought that was a good direction for him. Stefan Kapikic, again, I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, dude. I think he did a really good job voicing it. I don't know if it was his likeness that they did the CGI out of, but I thought the CGI of his character was really good. They did it just perfectly. It didn't look cheesy. And I, I thought he fit into it well. He's, he's one of those characters, he's kind of like a big brother to Deadpool. Or, or a father figure, or however you want to look at it. He, he, was all, he would always be like, you know, Deadpool, join us. Become one of us. Colossus was more like the character trying to drive Deadpool in the right direction. Then you have this trainee who's called Negasonic Teenage Warhead, played by Brianna Hildebrand. She creates these atomic blasts out of her body in a fight. Her character, I think, is like the, the only action element. Like she brought this explosive part to this movie. So when you think of action movies, you think of things blowing up. And that's what she brought to this movie, I think. 
And she did a pretty good job playing that character. And then you have the big baddie, which every superhero needs, every superhero deserves. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a superhero movie. It wouldn't be a comic book movie. Francis, played by Ed Screen. The only other movie I remember seeing this actor in was Transporter Refueled. And I thought in this film, he did a really good job. He played, of course, the guy that betrayed Wade Wilson at the beginning and gave him that disfigurement and all his powers and everything. And he, he's one of those bad guys that doesn't really have anything big planned. It, he doesn't do like the Joker and goes out and uh, poisons the water supply and stuff. He mainly like traffics humans and turns them into mutants. So it's nothing really big. And he actually says to Wade Wilson at the beginning that he wants to use all of them as slaves, including Wade Wilson. So it's nothing really big, but at the same time, it was a good motivation for Deadpool to want to come after this guy, especially after what he did to him. But yeah, there was a lot of X-Men jokes, and at one point there was a studio joke as well. I'm gonna wait out here, okay? It's a big house. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X-Men. I think that's what made this film so unique. Deadpool would always talk into the camera like he was actually talking to us, like how I am to you guys. And he would talk to the audience, and at one point he's like, you know, Colossus said something to him, and he said, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to them, and then he gets up. So I thought that was pretty clever. That was pretty funny. Stan Lee, may God rest his soul. He passed away here recently. He would make cameos in every Marvel movie out there. I remember hearing in an interview, the strip club scene was an actual strip club. The only regret he has, and I think this is pretty funny, is that he didn't get the opportunity to spend more time with the strippers. Oh, Stan Lee, you sly devil, you. Ken Sing's cinematography and lighting was lit up just perfectly. There wasn't a thing that I couldn't see. It was so clear. This this guy knew he, what he was doing. Tom Hulkenborg's score was just fantastic. It fit exactly what the character was. It had sort of that rockish vibe to it, especially during the slow motion scenes and he would shoot somebody. I can't even explain how to actually explain what that score sounded like. It's like... I guess you could say synthetic, but I might be wrong. The editing by Julian Clark was done really well. It wasn't too choppy, especially for the action sequences. It, it was done just well. And like most of these action movies, they have to cut so fast, like Mile 22, Taken 2 and 3. I, I don't understand why they got to do that. It doesn't make me hate the film completely, but it does kind of take me out of it when they do that. But in this film, it was done just perfectly. I think a lot of editors, they think because it's an action film, they feel like they have to fast cut everything. Not always true. And this film kind of proved it. It had the, certain, the right amount of action, the right amount of cuts, and it was just... There's nothing else to say. It was just done perfectly. But guys, this film was just amazing. This was director Tim Miller's first directorial debut, and I gotta give the man props. He knew what he was doing. And just like James Wan did with Saw, which that was his first feature film, Tim Miller, I think that he's on his way up. Deadpool gets an A+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, trailer reactions, you name it. What did you think of Deadpool? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Peace to rip out.